conservative new media viewers and Jeremy Lin fans around the world. We've got an analysis and recap of Houston's 93-89 to victory tonight over the visiting Chicago Bulls. Now, if you saw this game, you know that Jalen struggled pretty badly in this game. In fact, this might have been his worst game of the year. He had four points, four rebounds, three assists, but he shot just two of nine from the field and had five turnovers. His efficiency number for the game, which is all the positives subtracted by all the negatives, was zero. Obviously, that's not very good. However, one thing that was good in this game was the play of Tony Douglas, who was the backup for Jeremy Lin. Tony Douglas was critical in this game. In fact, Tony Douglas, in a lot of ways, won Houston this game. Coach, acting head coach Kelvin Sampson put in Tony Douglas for Jeremy with about three or four minutes left in the game, and Douglas immediately sparked the team. He hit a critical three-pointer. He played some great defense, forced a turnover late that was key, hit some big free throws, and basically got it done when he needed to get it done. Now, we'll talk more about Jeremy in just a second. Just going to wrap up this game. This was a huge win for Houston. This was a back-and-forth game that could have gone either way. And when Douglas came in, the team sharpened up, and they got it done. James Harden, Beard played great in this game. We saw some Beard sanity. Patrick Patterson played well in this game. Chandler Parsons played well in this game. So got to tip your hat to the team. They played well, and they got it done when they needed to. And unfortunately for Jeremy Lin fans, they played better without Jeremy tonight. Now, I said that for one of the games the other day. I can't remember which game it was, but the team was better when Jeremy wasn't playing, and that was also the case tonight. Now, I know, in fact, I believe I read something today, and I might do a video about this, that I think Jeremy said to a columnist from ESPN that his knee's not 100% yet. And we've been talking about that. I know it's not 100% yet. People want him to be Lin Sanity 1.0 version and stuff, and he's just not there yet. He's not there physically. He's not there mentally. And if you don't have confidence in your body as a professional athlete, you're not going to be able to perform well. Uh at least not somebody at Jeremy's level who's just starting out. If you're somebody like Kobe Bryant and you have a Hall of Fame career and you hurt your wrist ligament like you did last year, okay, you might be able to do some things or whatever because you know what to do and you've already done it. Your teammates have confidence in you and you have confidence in yourself. Jeremy's not at that level yet. He can't do that. So if his body's not right, he can't play his game. And that's what you're seeing right now. Now, what I see with Jeremy right now is that he's playing scared. He's playing apprehensive. He's playing uh, on his heels. He's not playing with confidence. He's not playing with a chip on his shoulder like he did last year. He's not attacking. He's kind of passive. He's receiving, so to speak. And guys sense that. If you, anybody that's ever played any game at any level, even out on the playground, if you're going against somebody, and you sense that they're hurt, or you sense that they're afraid, or you sense that they're not confident, you're going to attack them. You're, you're going to attack them. It's like uh, you know a lion picking out the wounded member of the herd to go after. That's what's happening to Jeremy Lin right now. And that's the way the NBA is, and, and that's the way all professional sports leagues are. Nobody's going to have any sympathy for you. They're going to come at you. And again, because of Jeremy's contract, and because of the attention that he gets, and I think it's deserved attention, guys are coming for him anyway. He has a target on his back. You saw that tonight in this game with Nate Robinson, who played terrific. Nate Robinson was one of the only reasons Chicago was even in this game. Nate Robinson was going right at Jeremy Lin, you know, doing a 360 spin layup and shooting threes. I mean, he was trying to clown Jeremy Lin. We saw this recently with General Grievous Vasquez doing this against Jeremy Lin. Guys are coming for him. And what Jeremy has to do is he has to get used to that. First, he has to get his body back. And then he's got to build his confidence, build his skills, build his ball handling, build his shooting, you know, get certain shots that he knows he can go to, get teardrops, etc. And then he's got to take it personally. Someone's coming at you. Someone's trying to make you look bad. You need to take it personally. And this is coming from somebody, you know, I, I never got championships in the way that, that JDV has, but I competed at a pretty high level. 
in uh, in various athletics and you know you got to know and you have to be able to shift your focus to when someone's coming for you you got to give it back to them someone's trying to make you look bad you make them look bad someone's trying to punk you out you punk them out now you don't want to get into one-on-one battles you can't do that in basketball that's just not the smart way to play but you got to let guys know that you're not going to take it and there's ways to do that and Jeremy will get there again look this is this is about as bad as it's going to get for him I think you know you're going to, people are going to jump off the bandwagon Tony Douglas should start whatever you know what maybe Tony Douglas should start Jeremy's got to find a way to get tough in his mind he's got to figure it out he's got to get angry he's got to get focused one of the things I saw with Jeremy tonight and I've seen this in other games he had that one turnover um, I want to say in the third quarter where a guy was running the baseline and he threw the pass that was a lazy pass you can't throw that pass and it, it just shows to me that Jeremy is not he's not focused right now for whatever reason for whatever it is that's going on he's got to figure out a way to, to, to come out of that and I'm sure he will like I said I believe in that same article where he said his knee wasn't 100%. He still believes he can be an all-star in the NBA, and I totally agree with that. He has the talent. It's just it's a combination of things is what I think. It's the body. It's the confidence. Uh, look, let's be honest. Some of it's probably the contract. What do I mean by that? I mean this guy finally isn't worrying about sleeping on the couch. Now he's got some money. Now he's got some security human nature is to kind of lay down and relax a little bit once you've achieved something this guy was fighting to be in the nba now he's getting paid now he's a global icon so maybe he's relaxed a little bit i don't know i mean i i I, i'm not in his body i don't know what he's thinking i don't know how his body is feeling if if it did happen to him it's certainly not the first person uh the first guy that comes to my mind is ryan fitzpatrick in the nfl uh plays for um Buffalo Bills. He was tearing it up. Another Ivy League guy, by the way. Um, uh, He actually might be from Harvard as well. He was tearing it up. And then he got a huge contract. Now, now he's not tearing it up so much anymore. That's human nature. And you have to fight it. But again, if you're Jeremy Lin, you're coming from uh, a less competitive league, in the Ivy League and stuff, this might take more time. Everybody's going to try to make him look bad right now. The haters love it. I've already read some of the stuff from tonight. I mean, you know what they're going to say. I still think I am still fully confident in him, very confident. But he's going to have to deal with situations like this. And, again, this is about as bad as it's going to get. I think he will rebound, but it's going to take time. I said at the other game, this might take the entire year to him to shake off all of this stuff, just to kind of relax a little bit. I'm not sure what his mindset is. I'm not sure how he handles things. I said that the last video. He might be a little more sensitive or take a little bit more time to kind of deal with things than what I thought he was. And that's okay. It's just a different, you know, people have different ways of of, uh, coping with stress and stuff. But tonight was a tough night for him. I don't think you'll see many nights that'll be worse than tonight was for him. So... That's the wrap-up on that. Again, the big picture is Houston won. And as they say, winning is a great deodorant. Everything smells better. Jeremy Lin's bad game kind of goes away because Houston won. So that's important. That's key. He just needs to put his head down, get mad, get focused, and get back in the, you know, get back in the dirt. Get back into the mode that you were in. Jerry Lynn Sanity 1.0. you got to find that mental zone and get back there. And I think he will. It's just going to take time. I've said that this entire year. I still said, you know, back to when I first said it, I said it, I thought it would be three months. And then I said maybe it would be six weeks. So if you take that, it's probably two weeks ago. So I still think it's four weeks to, to ten weeks. It'll come. And, and honestly, nights like this are going to help him because he's going to see the film. And he's going to say, you know, he's not playing well. And guys are just trying to make him look bad. Well, if you're a competitive guy, at some point you're going to get mad. And you're going to try harder. You're going to practice harder. You're going to work harder. And that is only going to help him. So 
that's the wrap up. You guys give us your comments below. Thumbs up, thumbs down on the video. Of course, we encourage you to come and join the Conservative New Media Facebook group. Over 2,000 members there and, and growing every day. You'll find a link for that in the video description below the video player. You'll also find links there for video highlights, box score, game stories of this game. I am Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA expert. You're watching Conservative New Media. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again soon.